How's it going guys? Welcome to the Middleton Motorsports YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing some dyno work on this uh, S197 Mustang up here. So let's check this thing out. So this is a uh, this is a pretty cool build. I'm going to step up on the dyno here and we'll take a look. This is a, I believe this is a 2008 Mustang. And I think it originally was built by a company called Southern Comfort down in Alabama. And it's got this Black Widow theme to it. And it's got quite a bit of, it's got a body kit and wheels and brakes and it's a pretty extensive build. Um, but get under the hood here, you can see we got quite a bit of stuff going on. So two turbochargers hanging out there. Um, this is a Ford Racing iron block. So it's a modular engine, three valve. Um, forge, forge internals, the heads are ported. It's got camshafts, uh, aftermarket camshafts from Comp. Um, it's got that Holly Sniper EFI intake. Um, I believe the turbochargers are 64. 7 millimeter, so it's twin 67s. Um, it's got a triple pump fuel system. It's running on E85. Um, and it's got a FIC 1650 injectors. It's got all sorts of stuff. I mean, you can see this is a pretty extensive build, pretty healthy build up. Now, we did not do the build on this car. Uh, this customer uh, seeked us out to kind of clean the tune up. He made a couple changes to, to some stuff, the intake and the injectors. And we were local to him and he uh he wanted me to to get on the keyboard here and make some changes to the tuning for the new parts he added so i've uh yesterday i did some preliminary stuff on it oh, i shouldn't say preliminary i did i basically got the uh kind of the, i shouldn't say the lower boost but kind of the low boost and mid-range boost done as far as the tuning goes got the injectors dialed in where they need to be um, i made some changes to the cam angles um, from the previous tuner um, to improve some of the top end stuff um, and now I'm ready to turn it up so we've we've brought it from basically gate pressure so I got basically kind of the three boost levels I've been at so far so you can see here so the 723 is that was 12 pounds of boost the 839 was 15 pounds of boost and the 937 was 20 pounds of boost now this car did make a pretty big number uh, at a different shop a couple years ago. It did make 1,200 at the rear wheels. So um, we still have about 10, 12 more pounds of boost to go. That was the 937 was 50% on the boost controller. And talking to the customer, we can turn it all the way up to 100, and it should make 30 plus pounds of boost. And I'm hoping to see. I'm hope, obviously hoping to see a 1,200 horsepower number. I was able to improve. Um, based on talking to him with where I'm at right now, I was able to improve the top end with, uh, like I said, doing some cam angles and some, some cam timing changes. Uh, the VVT is still active on this engine. So uh, these three valve engines, Ford first introduced VVT on these engines um, versus the old modular engines that were the two and four valves, the, the old four sixes, this being a four six three valve, this does have uh, variable cam timing. So these cams, uh, have limiters not locked out so the VCT is still active and obviously when it comes to a boosted engine like this uh, that's pretty important to get those angles correct and get them set right for the engine combination um, so I did a couple things to that and was able to improve some of the top end horsepower uh, versus what he had seen before so he was happy with that but yeah like I said now we're ready to turn this thing up so um, you know now we're gonna go for those four digit plus numbers and uh, and hopefully we can see that 1200 number. I'd like to see that and then some. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm going to get this thing strapped down. Um, probably, I might get at it tomorrow morning again. I got some other stuff going on in the shop. Uh, we're kind of juggling a bunch of stuff right now and we got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. So um, first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to get this thing strapped down and I'm going to turn that boost controller up. I'm going to crank it up probably go to like 70 percent and see where we're at and then i'll do a video of the final pull cranked all the way up and and we'll see where we're at hopefully uh like i said hopefully you see that 1200 number so stay tuned Final pull on this twin turbo three valve. 1255, 1074 torque. So that's just over 30 pounds of boost, 31 pounds of boost. 
and uh, it's looking pretty strong. So that'll pretty much wrap it up for this one. So being in a little earlier PCM, I don't have quite as much data logging capability as like a uh, GT500, but you can kind of see where I'm at here. Air fuel down there at the bottom, timing. And uh, yeah, this is looking really good. Um, I'm happy with that. We're turning this thing just, just a little over 7,000, 7,200 RPM as we saw on the dyno. And uh, I'm being modern on the timing. I'm not trying to lean on it too hard, you know, upper teens. Um, and it's it's liking it there. It's I'm I don't really need to go much more than that. I feel like that's plenty aggressive for this setup. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, these again these comp turbos really like boost. This thing was picking up. It it from 20 pounds of boost it made 930, and 31 pounds of boost it's making 1255. So we're we picked up over 300 wheel at 10 pounds of boost. So I think the compressor maps on these things really favor the higher end, uh, higher pressure ratios. So. Again, that's looking really nice, nice flat curve. I was fighting a little bit of tire spin on some of my previous pulls. Um, I had dropped tire pressure down like 25, but uh, got that under control. And uh, yeah, nice, nice number there. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching our channel. Keep checking back for more updates and more uh, social media posts. We got all sorts of stuff coming down the line. Uh, lots more Mustang content and lots of other stuff. So thanks for watching, guys.